I'm Christina Trajeska from the Ladies League. And for those who don't know us and are just joining us now, we are a female football supporter group from Australia covering football in Australia. And today we've reached the other side of the world and I'm here joined with Manchester City's defender, Ruben Diaz. Ruben, how are you? And thank you so much for joining me. Oh, my, my pleasure. Uh, I'm good. Thank you. So you've been at Manchester City for a, a about a season now what what is it like playing at the club it's such a prestigious club does it still feel surreal to you to be wearing these colors and representing this club i would not say surreal but i would say you just you just need to enjoy it because you're uh, you're in the top club uh, you're in the top level not just the club everything i think i'm on, on the place i always wanted to be you are part of the captain's group this season i know you are young but you've said in the past that you don't compare the capacity of a player to their youth how do you manage the level of responsibility that comes with being a captain at a club at manchester city i believe that essentially it's something that just needs to come from the inner you uh, it needs to be something that you are or you're not you, there are many kinds of leaders that are leaders by example, that are leaders um, just because of who they are as a player. Um, and I guess every single type of leader just needs to be natural. If it's natural, you'll be okay because it's just who you are. I think I've, always, I've said this many times, that I, I really believe that everyone should be the captain of, of themselves. And I think that's a little bit how, how I work in my, in my life, in my professional life as manchester city at the moment where we are involved with the campaign called hashtag same goals and we're celebrating women's football and how far it's come how does it make you feel to see manchester city's women's team grow with such experienced supporters as well as trophies it's 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 important and, and nice to watch uh the development and and obviously to be to be in a club that is so motivated and in a certain way is dedicating dedicating so much to it uh, it's definitely it's definitely very good to watch. You were also part of the recent Women's Euro 2022 draw. It was it a special thing to be part of something and watching women's football become a space for young girls to aspire to be part of one day? Yeah, I, th uh, I, th I think so. Obviously, it was a great pleasure to be to be there, and uh, I guess I guess essentially that's you, you've you've said it all. It's it's all about inspiring. Uh, young women to to just follow the dream and knowing that there is there is more and more investment into it and and it's it's growing. The question I'd like to ask you is you know who is Ruben Diaz and what made you fall in love with football and choose it as a career choice? Not sure, not sure what to say to you. Uh, I guess it was just in me since uh, since I can remember I played football. I, I started on the school. Then, like everyone else, a friend of a friend said, hey, you want to come uh, and join the club? Yeah, I went and it started from there. But essentially, I think you, it's just a passion that you cannot put into words. It's just something that happens. Unfortunately, today, eventually, we might have lots of players that think too much ahead and think too much about what the, the sport, what, the, the fo what football can give to you if you're good enough. And that's not the way you start. You start with the passion. You start with the, the, the small things. You've adapted so well to the Premier League already. And as a defender, you come up against such class strikers in the league. Is there any striker in the league that you prefer playing against and, and betters you as a player? <laughs> I'm not going to give the advantage to anyone. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think that uh, I, I never say a name. Uh, not because eventually, I, I, I could eventually say, but I think every single one of them it's just very good at its own thing. Uh, some are fast, some are skillful, some are very good in the air, some are very good at protecting the ball. And, and I would say that with different qualities, I've played against the best. Are there any other hobbies that you have that help you balance your football lifestyle? Uh, I really believe in balance in life. I, I'm trying to, to start to, to learn to, how to play piano. So I'd like to ask you, Ruben Diaz, do you prefer pancakes or waffles? Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Which one? 
pancakes. He's got it. pancakes. And on that note, oh, I can't believe it. He's got pancakes. But thank you so much for your time, Ruby. It's been <laughs> wonderful to speak to you. It's been a good little laugh as well as great talk about football at Manchester and also about women's football. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, all the best for the season ahead, as well as your international duties with Portugal. Thank you once again. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.